So, so yeah, um, I know, you know, I know the why I am, you know, having the anxiety I have, the social anxieties I have, and the why I'm depressed, I know there's a reason for it. I know there's a cause. Because um, a, lot, a lot of us with anxiety think there's something wrong with us because we don't know why we're this way, you know. And, um, you know, the thing is, you, you know, you're that way for a reason. If you're depressed, something has made you depressed. And whether it was past experience that happened in the past that, you know, does, hasn't left you, which, you know, th it's the case with me. Like, things that happened in the past and things that still happen to this current day um, are what make me have social anxiety in public and are making me depressed and, um, and um, you know... Um, so, you know, things like, I don't know, like negative experiences with people, um, the, whenever you'd go out somewhere and, you know, you'd have a negative experience walking past strangers in the street, like you walk past strangers in the street and, um, but they'll, they'll say something about you if they're in a group of friends or they'll, they'll make a laughing sound. At, um, you know, I'm really paranoid when I go past people thinking, oh, I, every time I hear a laugh die, I always think it's about me. I, um, and, um, you know, it's like really paranoid and, you know, I always think it's, I always can't help but just, it's just in my head, like that thought, it just feels like my brain just, it's like, it's, as soon as you hear it, my brain just automatically assumes it's about me and I can't shift that thought, you know. And uh, think, I don't know, just the way things happen, like, I don't think it's a coincidence when someone goes past you and just the moment they go past you, they're laughing at that exact moment, you know, um, it's like, it's like proof, it's like, it's like, it's like it's like feeding that anxiety. See, proof. It's proof that is. It's proof, and um, you know, I think some. I think I have, sometimes I've been paranoid. You know, it does make you very paranoid. Um, but I don't know experiences in the past that have have happened like that and still happen to this day. Um, you know, it's what gives me so much anxiety about going to city centre because I have this. I just I I I I have this anxiety. And I fear of being judged negatively by people, strangers passing me that let me know. You know, I just, I don't, I don't, the thought of going into town, walking through a crowd, and the thought of people looking at me and talking about me and staring at me, you know, judging me negatively, um, that just overwhelms me. The thought of that, and it just overwhelms me with anxiety, and I can't, and just to, and what, when I go in that situation, like I'm so in my head, I'm in my head, I'm feeling like, I just feel like everyone's judging me. Everyone's you know, people are saying to me about me. People are staring at me strangely, and like in my head, like walking through town. That's that's how I feel in my head, and and I just react with anxiety. I react nervous. I act, I act anxious. I feel anxious. I feel nervous. Um, I feel like an alien. Um, and it's just I get very. It just gets very uncomfortable for me. I just feel very uncomfortable, and I feel like just I just. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's just paranoia or maybe, um, you know, maybe I just pick up an energy, but, but like empath. But I don't, the, 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 when I'm around people and about, I always get this like so it's always like a negative energy from people. I always get this negative energy. But sometimes I don't get it. Like certain people, I don't, I don't get it from people. Like um, um. Around people, I just I just feel like you know, when I'm in a town, I'm, I'm I just mainly absorb negative energy. You know, I feel like I just I don't pick up on much. Like I occasionally get nice vibes from people. I get nice, you know, friendly kind of you know genuine kind of like um, you know feeling from people. But most of the time it's just like negative. Like it's just like a negative. It's like, it's like negative. Like it's like they're just judging me. Kind of negativity. It's like the feelings like just a feeling I get on the what the atmosphere is like they don't like me and um in, you know making it known they don't like me um you know by saying stuff about me and staring like it's like I'm here like on YouTube like trolls like so like like, uh, 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 like they feel the need to make it known you know, I don't know why but they seem to you know, the, 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 the but they seem to feel the need to make it known they don't like. I, I don't know. They just seem to like. They feel the need to show they don't like me. Like people just. I don't know. I just, people just feel the need to let me know they don't like me. 
Um, it's like they feel the need, you know. And, um, you know, and uh, I don't know. Um, but, yeah. But, um, you know, I do get pos I know I do get positive, like, you know, positive vibes of people. I mean, yeah. Um, you know, you know, I could just be, you know, it could not, in a, you know, maybe it's just a negative way of thinking. I mean, maybe it isn't. So maybe I'm not picking up on energy. You know, I'm not going to go into, I'm not going to, I'm not all, I'm not going into a spiritual um, stuff because, you know, some, some people just go too far with, you know, uh, some people just go really deep into spiritual, you know, spiritual, spirituality and the spirituality and, you know, I've looked up, I've looked up about empath and stuff, you know, but I think I could be an empath and um, you know, people who are empaths tend to have social anxiety because they, it's like, it's like when I'm out and about around people, I get very energy drained as well. Like people, like just even talking to people, I get very drained. I get very energy drained. Like it's a lot. I, I feel so much, en like I feel so much mental energy to talk to people. Uh, but I don't know if that's because I'm anxious. Maybe you, you, if, uh, maybe I'm tired because I'm anxious. And maybe it's because I'm, I'm having anxiety. Maybe that's what's making me tired. Maybe it's not necessarily empath, I know. But um, yeah, I don't know. But um. Yeah, so, um, uh, yeah, but there you go, there's a re I've lost, I've gone completely off what, the main part of this video and say, but I, but I, so what, but, but that's, that's pretty much what, so I, I how that's pretty much how I know what's causing this, you know, I know, I know, that, I, 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 I know how I'm feeling and how I, you know, how I, you know, see or think through my head is why I have social anxiety and why I'm depressed. So that's why I'm depressed. And I know I'm not, it's not because I'm fucked up. It's not because there's something wrong with me. Is I, I, there's a general reason. And um, also it's like, when it comes to this whole thought, for the people not liking me and stuff like, um, so that when I was 18, you know, my dad pretty much forced me out, you know, because his partner didn't like me. Like uh, she didn't like me, she doesn't like me. You know, and like, but that's kind of didn't help. But that's kind of what I got. I got depressed and just knowing that I don't know, I was thrown out on my own, and I had no friends. Uh, I have no like, I didn't. I have no girlfriend, um, and I'm on my own, and that's depressing. You know, you feel like you're on your own, and not only that, you should feel like your own dad's pretty much accepting of someone who doesn't like me, and that's my own father. My own father. Is accepting of someone who doesn't like me, and that hurts. You know that really makes that really gets to me. Like I still, I still have a hold it against. I really do kind of like. I kind of res resent. I have a lot of res I kind of resent. I have resentment, and I just kind of it, it eats. It's eating away at me, but I don't want to fall out with my dad. I want to stay in contact. So I don't want to say anything. You know, because you know I still see my dad, and he helps me out and stuff, and you know, and uh, not forgetting like obviously my dad. You know. You know all that stuff with this partner aside, my dad was really good bringing me up. He brought me up really well. He was a great. He's been a great dad when I was younger. He did well. He, he, you know, spent all the time with me. Which also, another thing that's made it harder is that I was quite sheltered and did it with family. So I can't fault my dad for my upbringing, but I just fault it. You know, I don't like is his how he's chosen. He's accepting of a woman who doesn't like me, and that's also added. to me, you know that that also doesn't help the fact that I feel like people don't like me, and um, it's maybe and also why I'm depressed. So but I know why I'm this way, and I'm not fucked up, and um, you know I'm not. You know I know that there's there's actually a reason for this. You know it's the actual reason. It's it's a real fear. It's like any other fear. It's like a fear of spiders or a fear of, you know, enclosed spaces or a fear of anything of any kind of fear. And that's the thing that any kind of fear. So we're guessing it's the same with anxiety, social anxiety, or, uh, but maybe you have to work on it a little bit differently. But you know, it's kind of you have to overcome that fear. You need know, to overcome it, and that's why with anxiety, you've got to go in the situations that make you anxious, and you've got to overcome that fear. And that's the only thing that's going to work for you is to overcome the fear. You know, and it isn't easy, obviously, if you 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 have intense anxiety, and it's 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 just, um, but yeah, I don't know. But anyway, this video is dragging, so yeah, well, I know why I'm this way, and you know, so yeah, that's that's what I wanted to pretty much say in this video. And uh, yeah, I thought I'd do this on my mobile phones because um, I'm currently editing, I've currently like just edited a video on the 
webcam and used a um, snowball mic, so yeah, I see it editing now, so yeah, so I'm gonna end this video here. Yeah.